Welcome to Bees and Wheels, my name is Ron Yeller. I want to show you today an 18 foot trailer we just completed. This trailer is pretty unique, you have a restroom built inside. This trailer is for sandwiches, ice cream and cupcakes. We have a six foot serving window with an awning door. And right in the awning door, we have LED lights built inside. So there is light up at nighttime. As you see, it's completely wrapped. It's fully wrapped, 3M high resolution. As you know, Biz and Wheels, we design, print, and install all the material in house. We do it right here. This is based on the customer need. With this trailer equipped with 11,000 watt diesel quiet Kubota generator. This generator, heavy duty, 50 amp, very strong water cool can handle pretty much all the equipment they have with extra power very easy to maintain everything down on the front is access door you open the door you can maintain the generator of course you have a plug-in so you can plug it into regular electrical power if you don't use the generator for nighttime anything events wherever you have a plug-in you can plug it in without running the generator either way it can be done this trailer is equipped with the restroom is a separate entrance from the side it's an RV style restroom. There is a waste tank, a 35 gallon waste tank. It has an end washing sink, a toilet, a ventilation and light. This is where the entry door is located. This is a 30 by 72 entry door. And you have a screen door as well. This is door number one. And then if you want to leave the screen only, you can just leave the screen so no box can go in. They have a slide in entry step. So very easy to step in. Come on in and let me show you this 18 foot trailer. This trailer is different and I will show you all the equipment. They're not doing cooking on this trailer. Everything is sandwiches, ice cream and cupcake and some bakery goods. Let me show you the equipment on this from the front of the trailer. As you saw outside, we have the bathroom. This is where the bathroom is located. Of course, you cannot access it from inside, everything done from outside, but this is the space you take on the inside. Right across of it, we put a trickle pommel sink, and right beside it, we have an end washing sink. Above it is a soap dispenser, paper towel. Of course, you got hot and cold water on the end sink, and this is where your electrical panel is located. This is where you can turn all the equipment, whatever you need it to run. Right under the breaker box, this is where the gauge is to show you how much water you have on the water tank, your waste tank, and the black tank. Of course, because we have a bathroom, the black tank water levels are super important. We don't want to have overflowing black tank full. So right there, you can see how much water. We have 10% water inside the tank, and then the fresh have 50%. On the driver's side, we have a 23 cubic feet refrigerator. Pretty big refrigerator, you can store all your items inside. Right after the refrigerator, we have an under-counter freezer. It's a 27 inch, 6.5 cubic feet freezer. It is an under-counter, so we level it with the table, so on the same level, you can use it as a counter. We have a table continue with the under-counter freezer, so it's a one big table together. As you see, there is aluminum brackets on a table and there is a panini press right here. 
We're gonna have a second panini press. We're waiting for it to come in. This panini press, we do it in such a way that you can install it and remove it. So it's very easy to remove. You can lift it, put it right into the bracket, and it will lock in place. It doesn't move as you're driving. And then the second one we're gonna go either way is the same identical one. Right after the panini press, we have a 60 inch sandwich prep table. This is a topping dispensing unit. On top, you have cold topping area is around 16 different topping. There is a cutting board so you can prep on the cutting board. You can remove it, clean it, put it back. And there's a two door refrigerator. There's a 15.5 cubic feet refrigerator. So all the topping gets stored on the bottom and you have extra to load up. Right above the sandwich prep, we have a commercial microwave. This is to warm up things very quickly. And then for me, you can go in a panini press or out the window. Right across the sandwich prep, we have another 23 cubic feet refrigerator. There's another big refrigerator, there's a single door. You can store plenty of food inside this refrigerator. As you see, this trailer have plenty of refrigeration. And right after the refrigerator, there is a dipping cabinet for ice cream. This ice cream dipping cabinet is four flavors on top and four store on the bottom. Three gallon, of course, each flavor. And right next to the freezer, you have what's called a dipping well. Dipping well where you keep your ice cream spoon, rinse, so I can have water. It's a tiny sink, actually. You can fill it up with water. You put your spoons inside and you can rinse it and dip the ice cream. Right after the dipping cabinet, this is where the serving window is. It's a six foot serving window. You have an awning like we show outside. You have LED built inside. So once the awning is open, you have lights over the customer area. And there's some shelving under the table. It's a very narrow table. It's only 18 inches. It's very easy to reach over the table. And it's, the way this window set up, we have serving on right and then serving on left with screen as well. So two people can walk in the same window, one can take order, one can give order, either way. I hope you like this trailer. Of course, you can look at our website, social media, and you can see all the different customization we're making. Thank you for watching.